He is, <laughs> he is also the president, so if you guys have any questions, uh, even if he doesn't want to be president, you still have to all questions go to him. Uh, I got other stuff I have to work on, but he can be the president of this project. Um, and then I am the electrical engineer, uh, because I'm a chem engineer and I also don't want to do chemistry when I get home. Uh, I wanted to turn everything on and off with programming. And then I also, because we're admittedly brothers, uh, I declared myself a 51% dictator. That way we didn't have to argue. Um, I just get my way, right? So, anyway. Steven? So, the problem with modern dishwashers is that you have to manually put in each dish one at a time. You typically have to wipe them off or put them through the regular sink. And sometimes it doesn't even clean them anyway. So, with all that hassle, oh, <coughs> the busboy, on the other hand, should require no input. All you need to do is finish your meal, put it on the tray, press the button, and it blasts each dish with uh, hot water and then blows all of the water off for it to be used again. All right, so the technology behind this. So this is where I got really uh, into it. So I wanted to learn embedded systems. If you don't embedded systems, we basically have to use a microprocessor. So you guys will see that on the table. We got a stepper motor because we need to know the exact position. You'll see how important it is to get the water in the right place, how to get the air in the right place to displace the water. All this is very important. We have buttons that can decide whether the device is on or off, we have emergency stop, those kind of things. And we also have an infrared sensor. Uh, this could be used to uh, determine the position so you don't have to calibrate it by hand. Uh, and then of course, if you want to control power, we have relays for that. And then, so as far as what's going to be available, so right now we are going to sell a totally custom model for $20,000. This is a custom table, you decide your table. Uh, right now we have a plastic dishwasher, this would be stainless steel, custom countertops, custom trays. You want all the presidents on your trays, we'll give you custom presidential trays. You want camouflage trays, we'll give you camouflage trays. You want artsy trays, we'll, I'll, I don't think we'll give you titanium trays, but I will paint it titanium color. So, custom trays, we will do it for you. Um, and the electronics will be built in. So if you want to charge your phone, uh, charge your laptop, all that will be built in. So here is our uh, 3D model for our next revision. Really, the idea will be that it will be stainless steel with uh, countertop material. There will be PVC to uh, spray everything down instead of uh, our sprinkler currently. And then, um, yeah, I think that's all that there is to it. Oh, it would be made out of plastic instead of wood. So it, if water does get on it, it would be fine. So here are our additional features, when it's a custom table, there are additional features that can come with it. So hot plates, you know, self-explanatory, our blower would have a heated element. Uh, we'd have different scents when uh, using soap. Uh, I don't know, I can't think of what else. Uh, yeah, and let me just say about the soap scents, I kind of got into this thinking like, you can have Monday smells like lavender, and Tuesday smells like, I don't know what any other smells, but like, pick your smell, right? Like, pick a smell based on day of the week. And like, if I can program it, it can be your imagination. So extended seat seating, so we have plans for four people at a table, at least in the beginning here. Garbage disposal, if there's a ton, ton of crap that are on your dish, dishes, you could always just, you know, have it automated in that way. Um, water for each seat, so you don't need to get up to get a glass of water. Uh, wireless charging, which Michael mentioned. Uh, lazy Susan, that's motor driven, so just slowly go around the table if you're really that lazy. And um, RGB lighting, so you get a light show like this with your meal. And uh, then a faucet attachment, so if you don't want to commit, to getting this installed into your house, a uh, mechanism to hook up to your existing uh, faucet. Sort of like a portable dishwasher. Um. Okay, and thank you. So I do have a few specific people I need to thank here. So Mandy, uh, I gotta give her special thanks. Um, and while you think it's because she just put up with uh, building a dishwasher for two months, that's not it. Mandy's just been absolutely great, like good at allocating resources to this, being supportive. So all around, like, just fantastic.
Um, other people would like to thank Rodrigo, um, going through the electronics and mechanical engineering with me. Oscar, same thing. Well, actually, talk about like dealing with uh, step promoter trying. Anyway, uh, but yes, um, honestly, there was uh, people at GM helped so much at. I've never done electrical engineering. I'm a chem engineer, so this was all new to me. Got a lot of support, so uh, thank you. And anyone who's been had to hear me talk about this. Thank you guys, because you guys were like, yeah, great job, keep going, keep going. I'm like, all right, we'll keep going. And now we have something. So, Steven? Uh, I have shorter thank yous. Thanks to Michael, because he was a motivator, so I'll say. And then uh, Mandy for dealing with us, like you said. And then uh, Lori uh, for being cool about me spending late nights with Michael building a dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. So, does it work? All right, we're gonna give it a go. You guys, you ready? Woo! Run the spot. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. All right, let's see. <laughs> all right. Is it already on. Is there a splash though? All right, it is not already on, so I gotta turn it on. Is there a splash zone? No, that's what I was just going to say. Is there a splash um, zone? No, so the mechanical engineer is responsible for the water spraying everywhere, so you guys will find out soon enough. <laughs> oh, okay, so you know where it is. You can tell how confident I am. <laughs> so, I guess uh, while you guys see the, uh, the motor move things around, uh, you guys can take a look at the electronics we have in front of us. Uh, had to learn all sorts of stuff about controlling power. Um, while electrical engineering is a lot of turning things on and off, uh, you learn that humans still have to harness electricity, so you have different, say, resistors or capacitors to even things out. All stuff that you have to learn or your motor doesn't work. And that was fun to figure out over the course of a few weeks. So, uh, but yeah, so we'll see this go in. Um, we have this currently hooked up to a bucket. So the show is uh, the show's about 40 seconds long, I believe. Um, we're thinking during production, you'll have potentially a pump, saves a little bit more water, you can recirculate it, um, and obviously get cleaner because you can have a longer cycle. So we have about a 40 second cycle time. And you got anything else about the blast stuff? Oh, so we, we knocked mac and cheese off this. So this we created earlier. Dylan, I think, made uh, this on our plate earlier. Uh, and it was, there's cream cheese, yeah, there's cheese, there's cheese on this, so we're going to find out, this is the moment of truth, that in 40 seconds we can take off cheese, um, I also made my, uh, we got a screwdriver, uh, Tom made that, yeah, that, that was my drink earlier today, so, uh. What kind of soap? Uh, this is just hot water, we'll, we'll have soap in production. No, it's off awesome. Ah, uh, it's long. So you can just run this long. If this doesn't clean off, and I got faith that it'll clean off. This is some pretty fresh food. You can always run this long. <laughs> uh, hot water. Yeah, if anyone wants, you guys can kind of, I don't know if you guys can see from your point of view. So, uh, warning, this is a leaf blower. Well, no, it is a <laughs> It is our blower. It blows the water it's, away. I was going to say it's going to be loud. It's going to be loud. It's going to be very loud. We can't, we can't spoil it. <laughs> It's okay, you always have the more that's in the production of the You have more protection, you still have like 30 seconds. Yeah, this is like halfway. Yeah. I don't know why it's really meaningful for the first time. Okay, it's a By the way, so any excuses we have, it's a prototype. It's a prototype, guys! <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, any glasses break? No. Yeah. 
How much water? That might be reality, like, so on a production model, you would pump the water back, you would also include soap to pump it back, um, but all stuff you can have on a production model. There are actually government regulations that just Yeah, so again, all stuff you can just pump back in. Pumps are technology, you just buy pumps. Pumps are easy. Yeah, you just turn them on and off. Oh, here we go. It's almost clean. I'll, I'll say almost clean. Uh, again, we got a prototype here, so I will take the success. Uh, you know, we're thinking in a future model. Add soap. You got a longer cycle, and uh, we'll clean more. We're not cleaning the second dish. We're saving the water. We're gonna save the electricity. Um, but I hope this gives. So I hope this inspires everyone to think you can come up with something and uh, you know take an idea to reality. This took us two months to make. And we're thinking in production model, we'll have uh, we'll some more features. Oh, and thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, so much for coming. This is a great, like, I, I thought, like, 30 people would show up. I guess we beat that for it, so. <laughs> wait, wait, what's the official count? What's the official count? Oh, no, you want to count? <laughs> 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 <laughs>